What's up guys, Chaz with Side Hustle Network here and in today's video, I'm going to see exactly how fast I can clean, photo, and list 20 pair of shoes. So here in our warehouse where we do buying and selling full time, we also have a fulfillment operation for our clientele. My wife and I do this out of our Texas location here. We also have an Oregon location. Here specifically, we started timing different things in the Amazon FBA side. So timing those shipments got me thinking, how fast am I actually at listing my own stuff. I roughly think start to finish to photo and list without cleaning. Roughly 10 pair of shoes an hour seems to be a going rate based on the times that I have time myself. But for today, I wanna to see exactly how long it takes. So I'll show you just a quick rundown of what we're dealing with. So over this last weekend, we went sourcing in a couple stores, Marshalls, Ross, and Burlington. So we're gonna get these listed up and hopefully sell these for a profit. Now it would be one thing if we had no cleaning involved with these shoes and it would just simply photo and list them. That can go fairly quick. The problem is Ross specifically is going to have Sharpie of their prices on the bottom of every single pair so we've got to get this sharpie off that's going to add in some extra time so i'm not really going for absolute maximum speed but for today this video is going to include the cleaning time to get the sharpie off obviously i've got to take off the ross tags marshalls etc i'm also going to be entering everything into my spreadsheet right here that we built out on a program called Airtable. all the time involved that you guys are going to see on that stopwatch is including the cleaning if i need to fix up any scuffs or marks on here as well entering into my database doing the photos and we'll switch over to my computer and actually get these listed life and real quick because everyone always does ask in these videos what kind of equipment that we use this was kind of a custom build out so starting with the rack that this was custom built on we have this typical on the wheels here the five or six tier metal cart that you guys can pick up at Lowe's Home Depot etc we have these LED strip lights to create the light and have an extra panel light here just as some extra front facing light there so it's kind of a custom build out this is a PVC type material kind of hard to show on video but if you look at pvc white background on amazon you'll see that and then i had put this on top of cardboard just to add a little bit of an extension out all of this stuff that we use the exact equipment in the breakdown you can actually find a link in the description below from there the shoes are actually going to be poly bagged we are going to skew them with our own skew so that when we put them all the way over there in those racks you guys can see exactly how we skew those um, and gugon is actually the best thing that we have found, you can also use lighter fluid, believe it or not, but Gugon works out great to take that Sharpie off. So that's all the equipment that we're gonna be using for today. As far as camera goes, I'm actually using my, you guys right here, you guys get the fancy camera. I actually just use my phone for pretty much all of our photos. So with that being said, get you back on the tripod and let's get to work. All right guys, three, two, one. Nope, that was the wrong one. <laughs> all right guys, three, two, one. All right, and we are done with the photos, the data entry, the cleaning of the shoes. Some of these were a royal pain because as you guys probably saw in some of those clips, we got some grooves on here. Whip out the toothbrush and try to get them off the best we can with the Sharpie. We have three boxes filled with these shoes. So now you guys can see the final product and why we skew it that way. So when something sells on eBay, we have a custom skew that pops up on the order and we can easily pull where these are coming out of and know where they are on our shelf. So now that that is done, let's flip over to the computer side and see how fast we can get these listed. Next step is I actually just took all those photos off my phone, airdropped them onto my computer. There's a program called Photo Room, which we are a huge fan of, which will make a crisp, white, clear background, which then we'll go over to the eBay listings from there. And everyone usually asks us when we're posting videos like this, what is Photo Room? How do you get your white background so crisp? We'll drop a link in the description below for you guys. 
Now from the data I put on Airtable, I'm very basic. I just put in the brand, the size, and then the style code. From there, I could just copy this, paste it into eBay, and find the matching listing. Now once I have a listing that I want to go ahead and sell one like this, I go and hit sell now. From there, I can click and drag my main photo in. And then while that folder is open, I go ahead and click and drag the rest of them. While those are loading, I can fix up the title. So I like to put the men's keyword size on the back half of this. You want your heavy hitting keywords to be up front. So Merrill Alpine Sneaker. This is where that custom label is going to be entered that I showed you earlier. None of these are going to have a box. So make sure that I'm going to switch to with the box. I go ahead and just paste the title back inside the description, super fancy. Current listings are around $80, not really much on the selling portion of those. I think they're priced too high. I did score these for only $30, so I'm gonna come in at $59.99. I run a business model of quick flips, so I am more than happy to bank 10 or 15 bucks profit on that pair if it moves quickly. From there, the rest of my template is pretty much auto-filled from doing previous listings. I go ahead and just hit list, and we're good to go. And now we just have to do that 19 more times. And that concludes 20 listings up and running. I ended up doing about an hour 45 total for these 20 pair of shoes. Now, sometimes they may go a lot faster if I didn't have to clean them. Um, if everything was just ready to photo, that would have been much quicker. It took me roughly about an hour to do the cleaning, the photos, the poly bag, the skew into the box, and then it took roughly about 45 minutes for the actual listing portion. Some of these listings, there were not a lot of sold comps to go by and steal uh, someone else's listing. Uh, so I had to go and uh, do some Google image searching and find a common keyword or something that I was able to use. But an hour 45, I'm happy with. The last time I did this, about a year ago, roughly about 10 items per hour is my target. I've always done it with shoes. Next, I'm gonna test out listing action figures, uh, video games. We can also test it out on clothing. Each category, depending on the prep involved, uh, may take a little bit longer to photo, a little bit longer to list, etc. I am curious though, comment below. Let me know, one, if you've tested yourself or timed yourself when you were actually listing and doing things like this. And two, roughly about how many items per hour are you able to handle as well? And what type of product that you're dealing with? As always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoy this type of content and want to see future videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. This has been Chad Side Hustle Network. We'll see you next time.